This video is an introduction to intangible assets. Intangible assets are assets or resources of the company, but they do not have any physical substance. They offer or provide the exclusive rights or privileges to the company. They are acquired for operational use. Um, often the useful life of these assets are difficult to determine. When an intangible asset is acquired, it is recorded at a cost when it is purchased. Some of those intangible assets are patents, copyrights, leaseholds, leasehold improvements, franchises and licenses, goodwill, trademarks and trade names. Patents are the exclusive right granted to its owner to manufacture and sell a patented item or use a patented process for 20 years. A patent's cost is generally amortized or spread out over the life of the patent using a straight line method. ABC purchases a patent for $10,000. The patent is expected to have a useful life of 10 years. When we get to the end of each year, we would amortize a little bit of that patent by debiting patent amortization expense of 1,000, which is the 10,000 divided by the 10 years, and credit the contra asset account accumulated amortization on patents for $1,000 very similar to the recording of depreciation expense. Copyrights would be accounted for similarly, and copyrights are the exclusive right to publish and sell a musical, literary, or artistic work during the life of the creator, plus an additional 70 years beyond. Leaseholds are an intangible asset that give the lessor the right to grant to the lessee under the terms of a lease. Most leases do have a determinable life. Leasehold improvements, a lessee may pay for alteration or improvements to the lease property, such as partitions, paintings, storefronts. These costs are usually amortized over the term of the lease. Franchises and licenses are the right granted by a company or the government to deliver a product or service under specified conditions. Trademarks and trade names are a symbol, name, phrase, or jingle identified with the company, product, or service. All of these intangible assets definitely provide a value to the company, and that's why we're able to quantify them and report them as an asset on the balance sheet. Goodwill is one of the last primary intangible assets the companies report as their asset and goodwill occurs when one company buys another company only purchase goodwill is an intangible asset goodwill is not amortized it is tested each year to determine if there has been an impairment in the book or the carrying value the accounting for goodwill is a little bit beyond the scope of these introductory principles of accounting courses and is discussed in further detail in intermediate and advanced accounting courses.